greetings, wonderful people. Comment qu'elle dit ça, euh, Lily? Great stu student of the great mystery. Devoted student, devoted student of the great mystery. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, the real journey only begins after one has attained proper humility. The four-pronged four approach. He who knows not and knows not that he knows not is a fool. Shannon. He who knows not and knows that he knows not is a child. Teach it. He who knows and knows that, you know, <laughs> hold on. He who knows and knows not that he knows is asleep, waking. He who knows and knows that he knows is wise, follow him. Now basic definitions. Divine, divine, define. One may ask, what is divine? One may ask, what is divine? As we are communicating in English, we have to use the word divine, which simply translates to divine or per perfect branching because it comes closest to the characteristic of pa Paramatman, a Sanskrit term. God is too loaded of a word, too loaded a word, mostly with misconceptions. Also, it is a male term, while divine is beyond male-female polarity. Even though Paramatman or divine is beyond the realm of words, <laughs> I think that's a sign when you uh, achum like that. Uh, I gotta ask you, what's that? The achum, achum, achum. You know we we say achum, and the sound that come out is om, om, achum, achum. Anyway, I'm back. So, perfect branching before I had my sneezing episode. Perfect branching, that's it. God is too loaded a word, mostly with misconceptions. Also, it is a male term, while divine is beyond male-female polarity. Even though paramatman or divine is beyond the realm of words, the simplest definition is the original creative spark which despite having created all the creations and dimensions lies outside of it all divine support and encompasses all good real love peace harmony non-violence painlessness etc many of the innumer innumerable qualities of divine like perfection on all levels are well documented in Vedic texts like the Puranas, Ramayan, Mahabharat, etc. Divine equal, perfect fractality and perfect coherence. What these are cannot be understood without a personal experience through Divine's grace. In the present time, space, realm, world, PT Avatar is providing a glimpse into this fractality, coherence and synchronicity through real-time sound and light events. As long as beings stay humble to the divine, there is no pain or torture. Evil is born the moment any being rebel against the divine. This rebellion arises simply from wanting praise for itself, which it does not deserve. It's elementary, my dear. After severe disconnection from nature and creating a plasticky, concrete, blissless world, 
People's definition of divinity doesn't carry connection with elements. When divinity is, as always been, always will be, all about connection and manifestation through elements. There is a reason why the elementals are the devas demigods, the good guys, the real good fellas in Vedic wisdom. Agni, fire deity, Vayu, wind deity, Varun, water deity, their head being Indra, wielder of thunderbolt, their mother being Aditi, sky deity, the fifth element, their support being Pridvi, earth deity. The body is made up of those elements only and the soul ascends to higher realms only after purification of the elements. Element is elementary. The devas are always in heaven only because they always bow to the source, divine. Higher and lower. In the world where equality is a mass slogan, propagated by evil minions, applied to gender, race, beings, etc., and higher, lower, as are seen as swear words, Lotus Ocean declares that there is higher and lower. The definition of a higher being is quite simple. A being is higher than oneself if the being is more connected to the divine than one is. Regarding how will we know, etc., it is very clear within the first instant to those that are honest. If one doesn't know how to behave properly with a higher being, one has no chance of progressing towards the eternal, delicious, overwhelming bliss that is divine. I'll be back. <laughs>